All right, so we're here with the head coach of Georgia State softball, Roger Kincaid. And you're heading down to Jacksonville for your a tournament. We'll get to that in a moment. But you got a very good win against Kennesaw State at home on March 3rd. I want to start with Julia Allen. She came in for relief and gave you five plus innings uh, to secure the win for you. What about her performance in her first collegiate win? Well, she came in when we needed her to and uh, gave us some very valuable innings that, you know, extended us towards the end of the game. And, uh, you know, a lot of times when things don't work out, when you start, but you, you need some help. And uh, she came in and gave us exactly what we needed and, and fits really well. Um, every opportunity that we've given her, it seems like she gets better and better as time goes on. So we're excited about that. She's worked really hard. Um, has shown up and, and done the work every single day, done what we've asked him to do. It appears he's paying off for So we're real proud of her, her performance. Yeah, and you're trailing one to nothing in the contest before uh, Sophie Mooney hit a big three-run homer for you, a three-run shot. Uh, what about the just getting runners on base and uh, being able to – and actually also had another home run by uh, Ellie Doolittle – and Skylar Moser. So you hit three home runs in the contest, and Moser was actually the three-run shot. Uh, but three home runs, you're able to use the long ball and get people on base. What about the offensive effort of the uh, the Panthers? Well, that was good. Um, you know, we, we, we came back from a one nothing deficit. Um, actually, Emily Brown hit the home run. The right, Emily Brown, yes. And uh, it kind of got us back. Yeah, it kind of got us back in the game. Uh, we, we got pretty juiced up. I don't know if you saw any of the highlights, but uh, it was exciting for us. She's a slapper, so not normally known to hit the ball out of the park. But, uh, you know, I told her at the beginning of the year, I thought she'd get five this year. So she's, she's got two. So we're almost halfway there. But um, that was really exciting, kind of jump-started the offense a little bit. And, uh, yeah, and that's in Moser. She hit the three-run homer. Hit okay. The, hit the three-run homer. Mm -hmm. Right, right. When Mooney hit the two-run homer, it was uh, an opposite field shot, really good barrel on the ball. And, uh, you know, we've been looking for her to do that. But she's coming along. So that was good. And then uh, faced a little adversity and gave, gave up a run. They, they creeped back in it. And uh, all of a sudden, Sky shows up and hits a, hits a really, really nice ball to dead center field. Just killed the ball. And that uh, gave us freedom ring. That was really valuable for her. You know, our pitching also for our defense. So kind of gave us a good shot in the arm there going into the last inning. Yeah, and then Doolittle was the one. She was she got the save in the contest. She put she her did. in. Yeah, she was the one who got the save. I misread, misread my notes. Uh, but, yeah, she's the one who got the save for you. She inherited some runners uh, on on base and was able to get a, a few ground outs for you to get her for coll first collegiate save. What about her being put in that position and executing for you? Well, you know, Coach E has uh, – been coaching her up, and, and she's, she's been bringing her up. We actually put her in and able to experience for her. Uh, shut them out for two minutes. And so we had confidence. She'd come in and shut the door for us. And she just came in, man. Been that like a freshman. Uh, got in a circle and did a job. Got, got us out of it. And, uh, got us a dub. So we're real proud of her and, and the effort that she's put in. And, you know, with Julia and also with Doolittle, we, we, we feel like they've only touched the surface of what they're capable of doing. So we look forward to seeing how all that progresses and, and watch it get better as time goes on. Yeah, and now you're heading literally on the road as we're speaking to Jacksonville, Florida to be in an event. You start off with Buffalo and you face Jacksonville University twice as well. Where do you see the team right now and uh, what are you looking to see that it gets better out, continue to do well as you head towards your next four games? Well, you know, sports is all about momentum. And uh, that, that win last night put us in a good place. And I feel like we got a good good vibe going on, good momentum. So we we got five games this weekend. And, you know, I'm looking for us to go down and compete and win five games. But uh, the kids are believing that they can win. Uh, and, you know, after after this weekend, when, when we didn't win two games, I, I, you know, I told them, I said, hey, we're in a good place, but we got to start closing the deal. I mean, you know, they're playing like it's a good team. But at the end of the day, you got you got to go get the W. And uh, we did that last night against our crosstown rival, and, and I think that makes everybody feel good about where we're at. But 
you know, you're, you're only as good as your next start. So we got to get busy, make sure we ride that wave and, and continue getting better every time we go out there. Well, Coach Ken Kate, thank you for your time and safe travels to Jacksonville. Thank you. Appreciate it. Go Panthers.